Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh right here, back again with another video on MLB The Show 23. We got some more road to the show with Julio Tejada. As you can see, we are playing the Seattle Mariners in Seattle on the road. There's big Julio Tejada right there. Top of the first inning, two outs, A's up, one to nothing. And we get a base hit down the left field line. If you guys hear uh, my dog barking in the background i apologize my grandma probably just got home from work and i am safe getting back to first base so yeah hopefully you guys are having a great thursday it's october 19th 2023 um had a big week or had a huge day this today at school right here at cop um i started my I had my first show today on the radio, which went pretty well, honestly. So for those of you who don't know, I obviously I go to college and I'm a communication student. And the main thing that I'm going to school for is radio, radio and television. Those are mainly the main two things. And uh, but if I had to choose which one I prefer out of the two between radio and television, it would honestly be radio just because of how m or more laid back it is compared to television. You know, you, I mean, that's not to say, you know, with radio, it's like, oh, you can get away with saying a lot more stuff. I mean, you kind of can, but you kind of can't. You can, but you can't, if, if you get what I mean. Like obviously, like you can't swear or anything. I mean, uh, that would be kind of awkward. Just imagine somebody's turning in on the radio, and the DJ's, you know, every other word that you know he's dropping the f bomb. Every other word, either he's having a bad day or that's just really how his personality is. Man, I, I, uh, I wouldn't want to know. But anyway, six inning, one out. Mariners are up two to one. Tejada's two for two in this game with two singles. I'm actually currently uploading his MLB MLB debut video as I'm recording this video. So, yeah, hopefully you guys will get back-to-back -back videos. I'll probably post this video uh, probably f tomorrow, which will be Friday morning. So, there you go. You'll get a couple of Julio Tejada videos. There's a ground ball right to him. Throw to first is going to be in time for out number one. So, anyways, so, um, going back to the radio. Uh, so, at my school, how it, how it goes. So, there's a radio station. And there's both a radio and television station at my school, which is very helpful, considering since I'm mainly going to school for media, communications, and that kind of stuff. And uh, so with radio, there is, uh, once you go to the station, there's like the on-air studio, there's a practice studio, and then there's like a recording studio, like a recording studio people use for like podcasts, or if, you know, work, they're working on any other projects like commercials, PSAs, or, you know, they're probably in there just to, to goof around probably. Uh, and then there's the practice studio. So at our radio station, you get like five practice shifts. Um, there's Matt McLean, and Ian Happ. Wow, the Mariners have a lot of good players on this team. I, I, I didn't realize. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, you get like four or five practice shifts before actually going on the going on the air. And so I ended up doing my five state uh, practice shifts, which allowed me to go on the radio today. So, yep, it was just me. Uh, the radio station is called 88.7 FM. Barton College Radio is the name of the radio station. If you live in Illinois, if you're into alternative rock, that's the kind of music we play. Julio Tejada with another base hit. I don't know why the runner was moving over to third immediately. Uh, also failed the challenge, which was to score a run. And I don't know why the A's decided to pinch run for me, but whatever, what, 
They did. They ended up working because the A's won the game 7-5. to five. Who do they pinch run me for? They brought in Daryl Hernandez, somebody I've never heard of. But it's okay. We're getting ready to play game two. So going back to the radio station thing, I know you guys are probably thinking, well, what did you talk about? Uh, now, the original idea was to mainly talk about sports, and that's probably what I'm going to do going forward is mainly have it be like a sports radio show. Um, but today was kind of like an introduction. Uh, today was obviously since it was my first day on the air, you know, it was my first, you know, getting my feet wet and everything. Um, really the main thing was just getting comfortable and, you know, just talking about whatever came to mind. Uh, I, I did a weather report. I think we... What else did we do? We did a segment called Short Stories. There's a drive in the deep left field by Julio Tejada. The A's are going to go up one to nothing here in the top of the second inning. I believe that is going to be his sixth home run of the year. Seventh home run of the year. Wow. Interesting. Um, what was I talking Oh, yeah, radio station. So... Thought about weather report. I did a segment called short stories, like like funny short stories. I did a segment about like top five, like a top five list, which ended up being top five PE games. Yeah, for yeah, like uh, like dodgeball, kickball, uh, map ball is another one. I don't know if you guys play map ball everywhere, but we had map ball. Pretty much, if you don't know what map ball is, it was pretty much like, pretty much like kickball, but instead of we end up using mats. Obviously, his bases. It's Julio Tejada homers again, showing the Mariners who's boss. But it doesn't matter how many home runs he hits because the A's bullpen and pitching staff is going to give up five runs. And Adam Engel. Seems like the Mariners had a very busy trade deadline because I don't even know who's on their team anymore. Like, I've seen Ian Happ. I've seen Matt McClain. I have saw Adam Engel just now. Oh, man. There is so many new players on this team. It's not even kidding. And I wish my dog would stop barking. So, yeah, today was... Uh, my first day on the radio. Not really a whole lot to talk about, other than it was my first day. Got to mainly just you know, get on the radio for the first time. Um, my mom ended up listening to the whole thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, uh, what kind of music we play again. It's all it's alternative rock, so like Green Day. We play stuff like the Foo Fighters, Limp Biscuit. I guess they still make new music. You know, Fallout Boy, 21 Pilots. We, have, we all even have a few songs written by The Weeknd, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we also have a lot of, like, in, indie rock bands as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's really about it. So obviously, alternative rock is the only music we play. So no country, no you know pop music, no um, no rap music or anything like that. Just alternative rock. And I think we have time for one more game, and then we are going to end the video. I'm just wanting to change jerseys if that's fine because I'm getting tired of wearing the whatchamacallit so the gray jerseys we need to wear what are the Kelly greens there we go it's one of the the, uh, the Kelly green jerseys today uh, we got Drew Rosinski on the mound 4-14 4 137.2 innings pitch 51 walks 114 strikeouts and a 4.44 ERA. I didn't even get to see who's pitching for the Mariners. Well, I do now, and that's going to be Robbie Ray. Now, question is, how is he going to do against Julio Tejada? 
what we're going to see here in this game, it's the, as we uh, begin the final game of this three-game series between the A's and Mariners, Oakland ended up winning the first game, and Seattle took game number two. All right, bottom of the second inning, Adam Ingles up for the Mariners. Runners at first and second, one out. A's are up one to nothing. There's a ground ball right to Tejada. Flips it to the second baseman and gets the out. Gets the double play. Nice play by Julio Tejada. Nice flip to the second baseman. And Julio Tejada crushes one to left field. It is gone. He was trying to make contact, but instead he hit a home run. And it's going to be a 2 nothing ball game here against Robbie Ray. Man, look at this, man. Look at Julio Tejada. He looks like a young Jackie Robinson right now. Look at this dude. This dude, he does not mess around. And so Julio Tata with another base hit. It's going to score another run for the A's as they lead 4 to nothing. I'm pretty sure there was no throw uh, to the catcher. So it's going to bring in Brent Rooker. He's 0 for 2 in the cleanup spot. He's got an 0-2 count. Marcos Gonzalez now comes in. And there's one in the center field that is going to drop for a base hit. Tata will stay put at second base. 2 on, 1 out for Oakland here in the fifth inning. So it's going to bring in Pozo. I honestly have no clue who he is, but he plays for the A's. I'm teammates with him. That's all that matters, and uh, he struck out. So it's going to bring in Lawrence Butler, one for two in this game. Runners of first and second for the A's would be very unfortunate if they wasted this opportunity. To score another run, and I, as I say that, I think they are going to waste an opportunity to score a run as Butler flies out to right field, and the A's are going to leave runners on here in inning number five, I believe that was. No, that was in the uh, fourth inning. Well, we're in the seventh inning now. Marcus Gonzalez. Yeah, that was the fifth inning. I was right. I was right. We're in the seventh inning now. Top of the seventh. Uh, Marcus Gonzalez still pitching. Runner at first. Oakland's up four to nothing. Trying to go for a hit and run, but Julio Tejada is swinging and missing. Well, he was too early again on a fastball. 0-2 pitch from Gonzalez. Tejada is going to rip one in the left field for a base hit over to second. Is I have no idea who that is at second base. Honestly, it's probably a bad thing. That is uh, the guy who. Came in the pinch run for me in game one. Well, it looks like he's starting today. Brent Rooker gets his first hit of the game. That's going to move. That is going to score a run. And the A's are up five to nothing here in the seventh inning. What about that? How about it? The A's, ever since now Julio Tata's playing, I know it's been a short handful of games, but the A's are starting to play good baseball now. Maybe that's a sign that the A's will play pretty good in the 2024 season. And he's going to beat out a double play. All right, so the Mariners get one out, but they don't get two outs. The A's have runners in the corners, two outs now for Lawrence Butler, one for three. Right back to the pitcher, Gonzalez makes the throw to first. And the Mariners get out of the jam. They now... They still trail the A's 5 to nothing. Drew Rasinski still on the mound. Having a pretty decent game so far. Julio Tata says, you know what? I got you. I got you, man. I I'm going to make sure these guys don't get base hits past me. Like, nothing is going to go into left field. You know, we got you. Me and the third baseman, man, man, we got you. We got you, man. Julio Tata, I think he's practicing his golf swing because swings and misses on a fastball way too early. Marcos Gonzalez still pitching in this game somehow, some way for the Mariners. 
as he's going to hit. Tata hits one to left center field, going back at the wall. It is gone. He tried to rob a home run, but he couldn't quite catch it. And it's going to go over the fence. And the A's have a 6-0 lead here in the here in the game. And that's and they're going to win by that score. The A's are going to take two out of three here against the Mariners. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more Julio Tejada videos in the future. I'm your man, Josh Wright, and we are signing off. Also, don't forget to check out my new radio show on 88.7, Parkland College Radio as well. You can also stream us on the Parkland and College website. I'm your man, Josh Wright. You guys have a great day.